Hi everyone! So today I thought I'll film the um, like a catch-up video that I do every month and what is it today? I think it's the 30th. Yeah, it's Tuesday the 30th, so pretty much at the end of the month. Um, and just um, catch up with things I have um, been using or doing um, and that's pretty much it. Um, so by the way, I'm wearing my pyjamas still. It's my Christmas pyjama, but um, <laughs> we did our Christmas shopping the other week actually because my um, my mom came to stay with us for a couple of weeks and then my dad came um, over the weekend. So we're having some family time and we decided to do our Christmas shopping and, you know, have it done. Um, and that was fun as well, but this isn't a Christmas um related presents it's just i had this pajama for a long time just reminded me of the christmas shopping we did anyway so here are just a few swatches of the new colors that i have added to my collection you probably uh saw the video if not then have a look there is the swatch video so these are the five new colors um that i added all from daniel smith and quite pricey um most of them because they are kind of like series three um watercolors and this one is the genuine color so this is the priciest of them all and they're gorgeously granulating beautiful textures and yeah um, i will be making a video where i will be playing with the colors and mixing them um because i want to see how i can use this color on this paper it doesn't look great um, but on the paper that I have um, the dot card um, is there it looks a lot more interesting so sometimes when the color looks different it could be something to do with the paper as well but the others are all beautiful the, so. um, the book here that I have done a review on as well so if you're interested have a look for that video this is the painted art journal by um, Jan Oliver and I absolutely love this book and although I haven't done anything specifically like a specific project from this book I have been super inspired uh, in a lot of ways and I'll show you a few things that have created um, th through her um, color schemes and the colors that she picks and the lines of the work and things like that so it's really inspiring to even if you don't want to kind of work on a specific project you still can get loads of inspiration in from. my sketchbook this is the stillman and burn alpha series i've been really enjoying it to be honest with you i think a bit more than the actually the better series for the type of um, illustrations that i do so here is the first piece that was inspired from her book there is nothing like this in her book, but it's just the the gesso part of it, playing with watercolors on gesso, etc., etc. It just kicked it off for me, and um, yeah, I really enjoy that. Then let's see. So this illustration, I was trying to kind of go the same direction, but somehow I fell into the old ways of illustrating. I, I'm not you know um i like this illustration but i was actually trying to create something different which is what you'll see in the next um, pages so this is what i was trying to create to begin with but yeah so then i went back and i worked on these um so first i started actually with these four illustrations trying to really simplify uh the face um painting or drawing with different mediums so here we have the um, Futamanen um, sailor fountain pen and here is the Karen Dash uh, water soluble graphite and this is the Dervant ink tens and what else oh, yeah so after I just created very simple loose illustrations or drawings face drawings I then went into this um, and worked here on this side on the gesso page and here I worked on the there was a swatch of the Sennelier indigo and I decided to incorporate that with this drawing as well and I'm using a mix of the carbon let me just get it out so 
of these two. So this is the um, Platinum Carbon Ink fountain pen with the carbon ink inside. So I left all the links down there, so have a look. So basically, uh, this ink is completely waterproof. I found this ink to be beautiful. So I can work with watercolors over it and it doesn't need that much of a drying time unless you literally kind of draw a line and go with the water right straight in you can get a little bit of feathering but very very mild however if you draw the entire illustration by the time you finish it and then proceed to watercolor there won't be any feathering at all so it's really waterproof gorgeous gorgeous um ink so and so the combination is here of the, with um, both of these illustrations this fountain pen and this one which is the sailor feud the manin it's the bamboo green and um there are two different um angles of the band as you can see here hopefully of the band nib right there and that helps you to create a varied thickness of the line so i can go from something quite fine to very thick and I just need one fountain pen and the ink that I have in here is the waterman ink which is the most beautiful ink if you're looking for a water soluble ink and this is what it looks like it just separates into this milky kind of gray bluish kind of um, colors and I just love it so all the links are below and then finally this piece as well was sort of inspired um, I guess more playing with the new colors that I've ordered from Daniel Smith so this is the Luna Black with Sodalite Genuine um, and Potter's Pink so I just used those three colors let me just pull them out again I went for a very limited color um, palette so here are these three colors and um, yeah and I tried to also kind of mix my own illustration style with um, kind of like making making it more into artsy style I don't know is there another name for it I call it artsy style so basically you can see this one is a little bit overdone in my opinion for me and then this one looks more interesting but again that's um, all uh, up to the taste so yeah and um, that's what I've been doing. There are videos for all of them. So I think, yeah, you will, there will be these two videos coming out after I, I uh, finish filming this one. So, um, so that's what I've been up to. And the final thing, oh yes, is this super cute looking, um, I don't know it's it's sort of like a it could be a cosmetic bag it could be a pencil case you can make you can use it for anything you want I just absolutely love this type of thing it's gorgeous see-through holographic it's perfect size it's not too big it's not too small and the best thing is my longest pen which is this one the platinum carboning fountain pen compared to for example this pen which is uh more which is also quite long and big but it's still longer as you can see let me show you like a regular size pen would be something like this for example so you can see how much longer it is right and so it fits in perfectly into this um pencil case like that and even if you wanted to use it for um for like pencils polychromos pencils or something like that you could do that as well and i got mine um in h m and it was just a few pounds and it just it's so good the zipper is really kind of like butter smooth and i just love all the colors i love having it just sitting on my desk when i go into my studio um because it just looks so cool i love it so i think this is it um i hope you had a lovely month um my parents are staying with us uh, for a few more days uh and yeah we're having good time and the weather is sort of starting to get a bit more wintry here in the uk and yeah I'm, I'm looking forward to november the next month and um new projects and 
I haven't filmed for about two weeks now because I had to pre-film all the other art videos um, knowing that my family would be here obviously I wouldn't have that much time to to be filming and stuff but um, yeah so that's all and I hope you have a lovely day or evening or where, whenever you're watching this video and we will catch up very soon again. Thanks for watching and see you soon.